As a rule, the formation of great cities is historically tied to the functional features of the landscape. But Nur Sultan, an ambitious project of a megapolis, driven by the will of the first president of the country, has repeatedly confirmed its representative status. In the middle of the open steppe, the city welcomes guests and promising innovations. To stay up to date with the mainstream of civilization and renewal, the city is in the state of permanent upgrade, with a specialist taking into account the best practices of urban planning. The scale of these changes keeps the whole country in good shape. Successful reforms are then transferred to smaller cities. There is no unified image of Nur Sultan. It is quite versatile and diverse. There are areas of existing development. There are ultra-modern areas. There is an area with promising architecture like Expo. The main characteristic of the image of Nur Sultan is that it's not designed in the same unified style. Indeed, the city with the historical background of the Center for the Development of Virgin Lands, which was established in the Soviet past in the past 20 years, has become an ultra-modern megapolis and is doomed to stylistic eclecticism. The vector for fundamental change in its appearance was laid by the construction of the first symbolic structure. Not only that the concept of Baiturek itself is the embodiment of victory of good over evil, even its height wasn't chosen by chance. The height is 97 meters. 97, the year of the transfer of the capital from Almaty to Astana. 97 is a symbolic gesture. The author of the project is the current head of the Union of Architects of Kazakhstan, Akmurzaru Stimbekov. According to his bold concept, one kiloton of metal structures should hold a 22-meter glass bowl, the central object of which is also the focus of metaphorical references. It is made in the form of a talisman of gold and silver. The serpentine stone is made in the shape of a toy kazan. It is a symbol of the hospitality of the Kazakh people. The belt of the golden man, the silver hat with a leopard, the symbol of Kazakhstan is made like a hold of toy kazan. Below there is the Kazakh national ornament, Koshkar Muse, lamb horns. The first master plan for future development of the capital was developed by the team of the famous Japanese architect Kisho Kurokawa, who gained worldwide popularity as one of the founders of urban planning. However, the modest dynamics of its calculation based on the average world population growth in the newly made capitals were corrected by reality in the first years of the plan's implementation. At the time, Astana grew several times faster, estimate the difference. Kurakawa laid their ergonomics for 400,000 residents by 2010, and there were half a million of them already in 2002. Therefore, his followers were built according to more flexible concepts that can meet the actual needs of residents. It was decided to split the city into 129 planning sectors. Each sector implies a population of just over 10,000 people, and each sector will provide residents of the sector with all the necessary facilities such as schools, kindergartens, clinics, hospitals, public gardens and parks. Evolutionary from the experience of trial and error in the implementation of the master plan for the development of the city, a clarifying master plan has grown. Now it's not just a forecast and an ambitious plank of the city of the future, but a complex self-regulating concept. This methodology implements the already tested tools for the development of the city and will be able to absorb the most current trends with maximum efficiency. Last center. Our center was founded as an alternative platform, an alternative opinion in urban planning, and we follow all global trends. We're trying to bring freshness in the development of the territory. Modern approach to urban planning solutions. The most key project this year is the master plan of the city of Nur Sultan, which will cover not only the development of territories, the physical environment, but also economic development, economic diversification and work with the population. It is a social design where we are taking into account the views of residents and humanization of the urban environment. Это учет мнения жителей, 
и, так скажем, очеловечивание городской среды. Asghat knows firsthand how progressive technologies help a person realize his ambitions. The Outdarao Bridge, perhaps the most notable addition to the metropolitan urban environment of recent years, was designed in practical collaboration with the computing power of modern computers. We experienced difficulty in the implementation of design. 2,500 different parts, but here a computer came to the rescue. It is a parametric architecture using IT tools. We wrote a script. Using the script, we implemented the project in a short time. In 181 days, the bridge was built. The bridge is beautiful. It is unusual. I liked it very much. I thank everyone who created this bridge, who built it. I thank everyone who created this bridge, who built it. When it is backlit, it looks incredible. As we walk here every day, we are constantly amazed and enjoy this bridge. You can see the entire city here every day. And I brought my guests to show this bridge. Due to the fact that Atarao region allocated money for construction, architects pay tribute to the endemics of this region. The most conspicuous part of the bridge design is reminiscent of a sturgeon fish. Each of more than 3,000 scales is unique. Now the connection between the city park and the left bank district is a self-sufficient tourist attraction with a cult of selfie followers. It's hard to imagine a more organic introduction of the new facility into operation. It is fashionable for the guests of the capital and useful for its residents. Уплотнение застройки, то есть это реализация проекта «Компактный город». Building and consolidation realized the concept of a compact city project. This is the timely provision of engineering infrastructure in developing territories. For example, if a large micro-district develops somewhere, the city must react quickly, integrate schools and kindergartens into the social infrastructure to bring their engineering networks. This work is mainly aimed at a comprehensive plan. There is also a great need to design the city for investment attractiveness in order to have more investment injections, to make it easier for businesses to develop the city together with the administration. Бизнесу было проще развивать город совместно с администрацией. Such steps will continue to expand the infrastructure of public services, but the glory of the city is first of all created by its unique facilities. However, monumental objects are built with long-term thinking and scale, which will be able to satisfy the needs of citizens in the future, taking into account the ever-increasing number of people willing to visit them. A vivid example of this, the whole of the State Theatre Astana Opera. It is the very case when the experience of proving architectural concepts was meticulously taken into account. It conveys to us the secrets of classical art. Impressive with both architectural fineness and scale, it spread over an area of almost nine hectares. The area of the building itself is 64,000 square meters, of which 3,000 square meters is a stage area. It includes four stages. Now we are in the lobby. This hall is called the Marble Hall, as all the floors in the central foyer are lined with natural Sicilian marble. Moreover, marble was brought to the final incarnation at home of the famous La Scala. Masters, who inherited the age-old experience of stone finishing, managed with incredible grace to recreate the beauty of Borobai nature reserves and Charin Canyon, linking these miraculous masterpieces with traditional Kazakh ornament. It's not by chance that such constructions are called monumental. The respect is paid to the Parthenon himself in the aesthetics of the facade, and the frontal composition is crowned with the sculpture of the legendary queen Tamaris.
Formerly the founder of the famous Swiss company, Beja Bacoli, was responsible for implementing the project, but he himself gives authorship to the first president of Kazakhstan, calling Nursultan Nazarbayev the first architect of the Astana Opera. And the first sketch and a number of design changes also belong to Nazarbayev. Without international qualifications, such construction is impossible. For three years, a theater was built by a team of specialists from 33 countries of the world. The result is impressive, not only for ordinary citizens, the level of acoustics achieved attracts opera stars from around the world. Behind this wall is a panel. It contributes to the acoustics. All the chairs located in our theater are custom-made in Italy and also contribute to the acoustics. There are special details which provide perfect acoustics for every member of the audience. The big hall is ready to accommodate 1,250 connoisseurs of great art at the same time. The theater is ready to offer even the most sophisticated repertoire. Machinery can prepare the most intricate scenography for three acts at once. Virtually all the technical innovations of the theatrical environment in terms of scenery and lighting can be reproduced on this huge stage. The area of the stage in the minimum auditorium is 3,000 square meters. It includes three stages. The spockets are extra rare stage, and the depth of the stage is 20 meters. Another significant factor uniting Old Town planning innovations of Nur Sultan is the emphasis on a highly ecological environment for citizens. The initiative began with the so-called Green Belt and 78 hectares of man-made forest belt. Actually, even the central pedestrian route and tribute to priorities is eloquently called Water Green Boulevard. About 50% of the city, according to the general plan, is allocated for landscaping. We're talking primarily about the River Ishim. This is a unique project. If you notice in other cities, both foreign and Soviet, the river is constantly cramped among buildings. Our rivers are surrounded by a park. The park is quite wide. Throughout the length of the river, we had no road. Good thing we did that. And the second is that green wedges of the city, there are six directions with green wedges, which in fact can be considered as a forest. A vivid example of a bike path between Rinka and Koshi. We drive along a new bike path, drive along a new forest. Duplication of the entire roadway by the bicycle path is an ultra-modern trend of urban planning in general and the priority of the future urban culture of Nur Sultan in particular. As befits a metropolis, preferences are gradually being created here for pedestrians to reduce intracity traffic of private transport and to emphasize an important component of a comfortable environment for residents. Nur Sultan is now truly a city for pedestrians. Мы в этом году себе ставим задачу развития программы пешеходной инфраструктуры. This year, we set ourselves the task of developing a pedestrian infrastructure program, and we want to focus on the right bank, choose a street with very large human flows, and work with pedestrian infrastructure in order to develop small and medium businesses, and also the outskirts of the city. The symbiosis of new industries for business development and concern for the environment was the holding of the World Expo 2017 in the capital. Implementation of mega-projects is a feature of the Kazakhstan development rate. Two years later, we can confidently say that the exhibition was a success. Four million visitors, hundreds of new promising business contracts, and the most modern pavilions left in the city, headed by the flagship building Nur Alem. There was nothing in the expo area three years ago. Now everything is built up. 
The fact that our capital has been honored to hold an International Specialized Exhibition Expo 2017 is a direct merit of the first President of the Republic of Kazakhstan, Aoi Yobasi. The best international design bureaus were involved in the design. The authors of the project are architects from Chicago, Adrian Smith and Gord Gill. They won an open international competition for the best sketch of the idea of the Expo 2017 exhibition complex. In general, the evaluation and selection of finalists' projects were carried out by a technical council, which included major international experts in the field of energy efficiency. They checked all the options for the compliance of architecture and urban planning with the principles of sustainable development, opportunities for use after exhibition. Of course, an impressive experience played in favor of the winners in the final decision. And the word impressive in this case is not used to just emphasize this expressive evaluation. For example, in the record of Adrian Smith is the tallest structure on the planet, Bush Khalifa, in Dubai, in successful experience with energy-producing elements that have become part of the buildings. The task was to create a dynamic, high-tech environment that would correspond to the spirit of the 21st century and generally correspond to the theme of the exhibition energy of the future. Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill most accurately satisfied this goal, creating an architectural ensemble in a futuristic style, with current trends in digital design and sustainable architecture. The slogan of the Kazakhstan's page in the Historical Heritage of Expo itself already explains a lot. Energy of the future is not just words. The central pavilion is made with support and emphasis on eco-friendly production and consumption of renewable energy. The sources of renewable energy integrated into the facade, wind generators and photovoltaic cells are new modern trends and the building itself has a scoop configuration that allows you to direct and use wind flows. It must be noted that the builders managed to embody an ideal spherical surface. Imagine on the biggest ball in the world with a diameter of 80 meters, you will not find a single docking seam. To achieve this effect of the structural glazing, a material of a unique composition was used, allowing to bend glass into panels. In this case, all windows have individual sizes. Specially created computer programs help to calculate this precision work, as it was in the case of a Tarau bridge. But of course, the most amazing thing is that this building actually produces energy for its own maintenance. The very construction of the top glass facades of the building has photovoltaic cells that can convert solar energy into electrical energy. The use of integrated wind generators and photovoltaic cells in the field of data undoubtedly brings the project to a completely new quality level. Let's finally look inside. As befits unsurpassed buildings in the world, the Neuralem sphere is unique not only outside but inside as well, including on the conceptual symbolic decision. In general, in the architecture of the complex, you can see a lot of special meanings. For example, the aces of the sphere is a tree of life, while the floors twist in the form of a spiral, which symbolizes the desire for knowledge for the future. It is recommended to have at least a couple of hours to visit all the exhibits of the eight floors of the Nur Alem. First go up to the top in the elevator and then go down the spiral staircase to the exit. Once you are on the eighth floor, you will plunge into the subject of the future. You will see which city will be in 2030-2050 according to the strategy of Nursultan Nazarbayev. There is a whole map where it is indicated when the solar panels or video surveillance system will be introduced. Also, the concept of Nazarbayev introduced the building of light rail transport. This is a fast train that will go from the airport to the new railway station of Lejol. The concept is implemented and built to this day.
By the way, about green innovations, according to the approved plans, the construction of a light rail transport will be completed by the end of the summer of the next year. In the meantime, we're going down to the floor below. The seventh floor represents the energy of the cosmos. On this floor you will see the planetarium, you will plunge 13 million years back and become familiar with the birth of eight planets, and in particular our planet Earth. Here the whole space era is in the details, from the mock-ups of the international orbital stations, the moonwalker to the present Kazakhstan spacesuit. Particular attention should be paid to the project of the first lunar settlements. According to scientists, these plans will be implemented in the 21st century. In this case, residents and guests of the natural satellite of the Earth will have to make full use of the amount of accumulated solar energy. Our nearest star is the main theme of the exposition of the sixth floor of Nora Lam. You can watch an amazing show inside the sun that takes only four and a half minutes. You will see how the ray travels and how it passes the stage from space to the Earth. You can also get acquainted with innovations in solar energy such as solar impulse, book cruiser, cruiser, solar rickshaw and so on. The fifth floor is much more down-to-earth in terms of topics because wind energy can be assessed and used only if there is an atmosphere. Modern models of wind generators, similar to those already serving Kazakhs on the plains near large populated areas, as well as new items that are just being introduced into mass use, are also represented here. There are wind energy innovations such as the vortex blades, Enerkite windmills and more. Also, the fifth floor ends with a very beautiful exhibit, such as the Air Fountain. Its developer is Daniel Wurzel. Thus, it shows its vision of wind energy through our design. The fourth floor is about living green energy. Among other exhibits, it's worth noting an interactive laboratory inviting visitors to conduct exciting experiences on their own. The floor for active people is even lower. Here, kinetic forces prevail. Every person has this energy because kinetic energy is the energy of motion. When we walk, we move. We generate kinetic energy. In other words, we ourselves are energy mediators. Most likely, the set of attractions is the most understandable and accessible for the perception of the youngest visitors to the exhibition. On the second floor reigns elements of water. It was one of the first to be tamed as a source of energy. The entire first floor is given to a detailed panorama illustrating the traditional features of the Kazakh people. The ground floor is completely dedicated to the Kazakh theme, to Kazakh culture. When you enter the yurt, you can immerse yourself in the subtleties of the traditions of the Kazakh culture, how Kazakh people welcome their guests and how their visit to the house ends. You can also get acquainted with the legends of the Kazakh people, such as the Golden Bowl. You can enjoy the sound of Kazakh cues. We have 16 of them, and each has its own sound. The main trick of successful mega projects such as Expo is to leave these gigantic investments in the positive balance of the city. They must be capable of generating profits even after the completion of events, at least as a tourist attraction like the Eiffel Tower in Paris. As a maximum, an integrated part of the city, an example and tangible by its further development. After the exhibition, the reconstruction was carried out. Now these buildings are forming new business center of the capital. The International Financial Center Astana, the tech part of startups Astana Hub, the International Center for Green Technologies began their work. Already this fall, the university will open its doors for IT students. So the concept of energy of the future has received a real embodiment and a promising area for new achievements of the capital of Kazakhstan, a unique, environmentally safe and permanently developing city, Nur Sultan.